It's an all-Eastern Conference matchup in today's game as the Raptors come into town for this one. Good evening, everyone. It's good to have you here at 2K Sports on this Wednesday. Coming in off the road, the 76ers are back in Philadelphia for this game. A discouraging record right now for them. Clark just 1-9 to start the season. You know, I think in the second game of a back-to-back, -back, it's always important to get off to a good start. And also, you have to make sure that you utilize your reserves a little more than normal. So let's take a look at the Toronto Raptors starting lineup. White is out there with Evans. Then there's Barbosa. Then it's Bargnani and Calderon. And for Philadelphia. Lewis Williams and Evan Turner pairing up in the backcourt. Higgy and Brand are at the forward spots. And Hawes. The judge. To the wing. Here's Wright. Kept alive. Poked away. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Toronto. Lurking in the basement of the conference for the time being. They're not pleased with their performance so far this season. Awful. And they know they can't come out and expect it to get on top by shooting poorly. In points a game. Here's Igudala. Little hauls it in off the glass. Five right now, which is a good margin to start a game. Here's Igudala. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Afraid to let you know it. Vociferously. <laughs> Shoots from 12, kept alive, connects from in close. And we're now all tied up at 18. Williams. He's guarded by Calderon. Here's Toronto following this one. They get to host the Rockets. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Oh, that's offensive interference. Five to shoot. Here's Spates. Little snatches it inside. Here's Toronto. Pick. Here's Barbosa. Scooped up. Second shot opportunity. Blocked. Spates kicks to Iguodala. Here's Williams. It's off. Toronto with the ball. Still looking for their first basket since the first quarter. Here's Little. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. Philly finished fourth Clark in their division last year, but they did all right against their fellow Atlantic Division teams. Well, 7-9 against those teams in the division. You know, they were fourth there, and it was the non-divisional games. That's where they got derailed. No good on the second free throw. Finish the deal. And you know, Chris Bosch called out the team's effort down the stretch. He just wasn't pleased at all with the lack of intensity that they played those games with. Get in. I mean, you pretty much got to play with a playoff intensity in the regular season. And that has to come from the players, Kevin. I mean, the coach is only... Pistons in the 90s, and most recently, the Washington Wizards. He's known for improving the record of the teams he's coached. And guys, we'll see if he can do the same here in Philly. I like his chances. Thanks. With one second left, it's blocked. Right now, he's in a bit of a funk. I look for them to look at other options on offense. Holderone kicks to Evans. Evans, right side, scooped up. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. And here is Barbosa. Takes it up. And he lays that one up and in. Picked up by Turner. Arcs it high. Here's Little. And close in the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. It's on Spencer Hawes. That's a good call by the referee. There was definitely some contact on the release of the shot. That free throw, no good. This just makes it tougher for you. I mean, when you're down and you get to the line, you must make your shots. And the Raptors making a change here. Good on the second free throw. Four on the clock. Two seconds left. The shot by Turner no good. 
Iguodala outside. Back to Williams. Blocked. A big possession here. And they come back to take the lead. Calderon against Iguodala. Here's Little. Nails the baby hook. He's got nine. Iguodala outside. I don't understand it. Kevin, the three... Taking him down is Iguodala. For three. Little rips it down. And the first half is now in the books. Check out the game for Barbosa. He's got ten points and a steal. A balanced effort for him. Active both offensively and defensively. And we'll be back in just a moment. It's Wednesday night, and I hope your week is going well. Thanks so much for joining us here on HP at the Half. An impressive start for the Raptors. On paper, all the experts, everyone said they were the inferior team, but that's why you play the games. A nice first half turned in by Leandro Barbosa. After two, he's got ten points. And for Philadelphia, they've really been battling. They're gunning from distance. The three-pointer's been their prime weapon. The leading scorer is Evan Turner. He has 11 points, and everything is falling for him. Really efficient from the field. And here's a look at some of the top players in the spotlight of tonight's contest. And that'll just about wrap things up for us. Now let's get back to your game. Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, take it away. wide open for a reason. D was just begging for him to attempt that shot. Spades against Bargnani. Guarded by Spates. Baseline jumper. Good, he hits the jumper. Now Holiday still looking to get on the scoreboard. Over Calderon. It's blocked. Raptors leading by nine. Drains it from short range. Another miss by Philadelphia. He just hasn't been able to get on track in this game. Not like he would like to. He's a much better shooter. Here's no Sioni. Can't cut the lead to single digits. And here is Turner. 20 points for him. Five to shoot. Can't cut the lead to single digits. Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan Brand Player of the Game. machine in tonight's game. How did it feel sending so many shots back the other way for the first time in your NBA career? It was amazing. I've always prided myself on my defense and this really felt like my coming out party. I've been working on my timing and anticipation and practice a lot and the hard work has really paid off. <laughs> 